Hi guys, I hope you are all very much eager to know what is going to come in the election results. Irrespective of uh, whatever comes and you know whatever is the final result and the final outcome. I just wanted to have a brief look with you guys on the manifesto that was promised by Congress. And I really want Mr. Dhruv Rathi to actually come up with a fact check which he is very good at. And uh, provide some instances and some proofs on how are these going to be fulfilled or why he doesn't make a video on these facts. Definitely you are the one to question. So let us go ahead with the uh, manifesto of Congress for 2024. And the main thing there, the main motive is it's known as the Nyay Patra. So I'm just reading a few things from the manifesto here. Number one, the Congress plans to provide uh, free health care to all citizens. For instance, uh, and this could cost an total cost of an estimated 5 lakh crore rupees annually. Number two, they promise to double the salary of Anganwadi workers, which is approximately 12,000 workers and 11,000 assistants. Sorry, 11 lakhs and 12 lakhs. And that adds up to an approximate increase of 1.5 lakh crores annually. Number three, 8,500 monthly to be given to females of poor families and that with the current statistics of India, that is approximately 45% of the females out of which uh, you should also see this that the poverty rate in India has come down from 29% to 11% from 2014 to now. So counting that statistics of 11%, it adds up to an approximate value of 3.5 lakh crores annually. The next promise is of 30 lakh government jobs with an average salary of 40,000 per month. It comes up and adds up to another 1.5 lakh crores annually. Now, I'm not sure how are they going to do it and they have not given any clarification on the source of these funds, uh, which definitely raises the potential budgetary constraints that are going to be seen in India. Of course, if they come, we know that is all hypothetical. So I'm sure Mr. Rati have the answer to this, that uh, how is how is he promoting all this and he's against the other person. So he definitely knows how this uh, total money, which is approximately 3.5% of the GDP right now, which he's uh, challenging, is correct. The next uh, promise they have given is to provide legal guarantee to the MSP of the crops. And as per Mr. Swaminathan Commission, there are currently 23 crops which are covered under this scheme. And an estimated value of this is approximately 10 lakh crores. The next promise from the manifesto is, uh, no, that's all, that's all, that's all as I can read as of now. If I sum up all the total of this, it adds up to 22 lakh crores expenses annually. Now, uh, you would be surprised that the fiscal deficit of India is approximately 3.5% of the GDP and the total expenses that goes in the budget comes to approximately 30 lakh crores and they are going to promise this uh, free 22 lakh crores that is going to add up to the expenses. So I am sure if you are into markets or have some basic knowledge of economics, you definitely have a question in your mind, where will all this be covered from? And the irony, the irony is this is all is being promised. All of this is being promised by the same people who are at one side also putting questions on poverty, unemployment and inflation. That's all from me and I leave it up to you guys and I am very sure Mr. Rati also has an answer to this. Uh, one thing I want to really understand that, uh, you know, some people are more interested in that 10 million that they are getting off from these parties to make videos and they call themselves at, uh, as countries Bhakt or Desh Bhakt and they see that 22 lakh crore loss to the country is more important or is less important than the 10 lakh crores or 10 million that they are going to get from those YouTube videos. That's all from my end. I hope you all are smarter enough to understand. Jai Hind.